So, been doing a little sorting and such. Um, that's a pile of stuff ready for eBay. That's got to go to the uh, fellow that's doing eBay for me. And the uh, room is slowly clearing out. Uh, that's what remains of the boxes to um, still sort on. Uh, <clears throat> sort and unpack and price and such. Um, been going through them and uh, doing trays of stuff. A little easier to access once you get the big stuff out and uh, then dump the rest into a tray to sort through it. So um, I've been sorting some trays and the like and got a tray of stuff, oh, excuse me. Got a tray of stuff priced Today, just uh, I had a tray of pens and a tray of little stuff, and uh, been pricing stuff today and yesterday. So I thought I'd show you a few things. Um, these are uh, kind of Cracker Jack or popcorn type premiums. We've got a Indian head there, and, <clears throat> and uh, a couple birds. They're probably a lead-based material. I don't know if you can see them terribly well there. But, uh, and a few other things. Like I've got an Eaton's T. Eaton Company tape measure. Their button hook here from Dax Shoes. Uh, Dax in Winnipeg, I believe. That or Brandon, I'm not sure. I think it's Winnipeg. Anyway, and couple dog tags. This one's from Flin Flon from 1964. Um, there's another one from East St. Paul from uh, 1962. A little more common. There's more of them put out than Flin Flons. And uh, Token probably circa 1900 something like that. I think it's from one of the fairs or something. I'm not sure. But uh, Manitoba token. Saskatoon Cufflink. Uh, advertising from uh, GC Gilpin. So notice I've got CC Gilpin instead of GG. Anyway, um, and the uh, Manitoba Curling Association um, badge or uh, pendant, I should say. You can see it there. And this is a token from Dingwall, um, Dingwall Jewelers in Winnipeg. The DR Dingwall Limited. Company and uh, it's got a picture of the Winnipeg uh, Auditorium on the back. There, got a watch key right there, little guy. And while sorting through all this stuff, of course, I've found stuff that's uh, going in the treasure box, so keep watch for that stuff uh, at the end of the videos. And this is a milk token. We can focus. That's, can't seem to focus on it now. Anyway, it's a milk token from Minidosa, Manitoba. Just doesn't want to focus now. There. Bingo. That's how we do it. Oh. Okay. Anyway, probably seen enough of that. And a Dre license from Doff in Manitoba from 1946 right there that would have gone uh, nailed on to their vehicles IH pen advertising pen from uh, an equipment company in Winnipeg three match books from different Winnipeg companies Capital Lumber, uh, grocery store, I guess. Um, oh, it's a meat company. Oh, there you go. Uh, 
Here's the back from Whitlaw Lunch and, uh, like I said, a lumber company. And some empty boxes for Bentley Butane lighters. I got in a few from a, a um, jewelry store years ago. Empty, of course, though, unfortunately, but uh, if you own a Bentley Butane, you might want one of them. They're always lacking the box, of course. And we've got these Serial Premium Cornflakes mini cameras, which you had to order from Cornflakes. Um, this little red box is from the Tea Eaton Company. It says so on the inside. Um, and uh, printer's blocks. I ended up with thousands of these some years ago, many years ago, about 20, 20 years ago, 25 years ago now, I guess. And uh, I've still got a few kicking around, so they pop up once in a while. Those are a few of them that I've got. And we're going through matchbooks as well. So I've got bags of, this is one of the bags, I've got a couple bags in the store already. Um, priced at like five, ten, eight, five, ten, fifteen dollars per bag. Um, here's another little bag of older ones for five bucks. Got an Illinois Central one in there, Queens, Beaver Lumber. And we've got pins. Um, oh, and, uh, Esther Brooks clip, bill clip. Brook Company Schaefer pen case, some Parker pens, a mismatch set, but uh, for 25 bucks you can't really go wrong if you're into Parker pens. And you know the value of those. Got a really nice wall fountain pen, 14 karat nib, still the original nib on it. And uh, pen refills. Got some other fountain pens there as well. Really nice uh, women's Parker dual fold. And a, uh, this is a Parker vacuumatic. It's a really nice fountain pen. And a few other pens as well. Um, there's this one is not a pen, it's actually um, a nurse's uh, um, thermometer case. Well, it might help if I get my freaking fingers out of there. Eh? Uh, and uh, there we go. There's the fountain, or fountain pen. There's the uh, thermometer. So, a little difficult with two, with just uh, two hands here. And more a package of rougher condition and more common fountain pens and two ballpoints, two old ballpoints. Another package of uh, fountain pens for parts and such. And we've got some mechanical pencils. A package of three of them for 20 bucks. Yeah, so anyway, I'm getting some stuff done. Um, just uh, trying to get all this little small stuff tagged and ready to put away once I have uh, other showcases to put them in. And once the shop is painted and I have the place arranged nicely, I can put the stuff in uh, the appropriate places. I've got a couple ideas for display, so we'll see how well they work out. And uh, I'll go from there. So, then next is... Well, next I'll be pulling stuff out of that room there. Uh, while I have been, anyway, I've been pulling out boxes of books and boxes of stuff and unpacking from there. So we'll be doing some more unpacking videos because we have lots to go. We have lots to go from there. As you can see, still got tons in here. Hopefully you can see and it's not totally pitch black. Anyway, so yeah, lots to go, but uh, you got to have a place to put it all. So getting the shop ready and done is uh, kind of paramount.
Anyway, stay tuned. There will be some more updates. So I think that's going to be it for this update. Um, 10, 15 minutes is probably, or I guess it would be under 10 minutes, or under 15 minutes. Um, yeah, so I guess that should be about it. Keep it nice and short, and uh, don't want to bore you too much. So, happy picking, safe picking, take care. So, for today's edition, you're getting a cigarette card pinup girl from Ogden's Cigarettes. I found it in a, as a bookmark in a book, and it is torn, but you can't tell when it's put together, so, but it does have a tear in it. But, anyway, there's the back. It's been in an album by the looks of it. And, uh, yeah, probably pretty early teens, I would think. And uh, the gal's name is Evette, or Evette, Evette. But, uh, yeah, there she is. So pretty early. That's going in the box. Not going to take up much room either. So there we go. Happy picking, safe picking. Take care.